Oh, hello, hello, hello. You are tuned in to Sundogs Present Local Vibes. We are Sundogs. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Oh, there we go. My volume just low. Excuse me. We are Sundogs, your two favorite canines. Good boys. The gruesome twosome. Uh, pardon me. Uh, how are you? How are you doing? Oh, excellent. That's great to hear. Not asking me. Uh, no, I'm not asking <laughs> either one of you guys. Sorry to throw you off. Uh, more information can be found at Sundogs TC on Instagram, as well as the Facebook page Sundogs Present Local Vibes. We're joined in the doghouse by Tuvok the Word. Hey, hey. Uh, we appreciate you taking time out of your hectic schedule. He Before the show, he was sharing with us already how busy his week has been. Um, busy. He said busy. it was busy. More information can be found uh, at Tuvok the Word. That's T-U-V-O-K-T-H-E-W-O-R-D. Coming up, we're giving away tickets to this weekend's Basilica Block Party live on air. Stay That's tuned. Right. Call, well, the number that you're going to need to call... 651-313-5125 651-313-5125 Don't forget it. Before us, you were listening to the 94.1 FM Music Rotation. If you have clean hip-hop or R&B songs, send them to sundogstc at gmail.com. Again, radio edited and clean. We'll get those not only on the show's rotation, but on the station's music rotation as well. And what about if they have non-hip-hop or R&B music? Uh, you can send that to the station manager at WFNU.org, um, and they'll put it in the put it right in the rotation. Radio edited, please. Clean. So, like, pretty much, if somebody heard it and they were like, "I don't like that," that's not what we want. So, take that out and then send us the music. More um, music comes up after Sundogs present local vibes every Friday night. That's the WFNU music rotation kicking off at 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. That's right. And then more Friday shows. Get the gravy hot with uh, Gold Hagburn Fridays at 9 p.m. Basic Beats with DJ Dom Terrace every Friday at 10 p.m. Fridays at 11 p.m. Club 120 Plus with Sid DeLuca. It's the replay. And make sure to catch the Midday Escape with Philip Gracia Fridays and Saturdays at noon. Crack of noon. <laughs> the crack of noon. Don't miss it. Um, morning program with Dr. Rick Burnett is weekdays at 7 a.m. The Extra Dimension with Ian R. Buck Sundays and Wednesdays at 9 p.m. The 945 show is at 945 on Saturdays and Wednesdays. T. Frazier's Motivational Talks every Thursday at 3 p.m. And Hits and Histories of the 60s, 70s, and 80s with Dr. Rick Burnett is live at 8 a.m. and replays every day at midnight. And don't forget to tune in to Funk to Your Ears every Tuesday at 7 and every Saturday at 7. Shout out to station managers for being diligent workers, working behind the scenes as volunteers. We're going to remind you about that. WFNU is a volunteer-run station. Um, thank you again for all the hard work you do, because without you, Sundogs Present Local Vibes wouldn't be a thing here on w- WFNU. Um, other shows focusing on local hip-hop and R&B here in the Twin Cities include the Sota Sound Radio Show, hosted by Nacho Suave and Half Pint of the B&E Crew. You can just look up Sota Sound, S-O-T-A, like Minnesota, Sound uh, Radio on Facebook. Chopping it up with Pops. You can also find that on Facebook. And the uh, Mini Rapalus podcast with Logan Michaels is on YouTube. Hopefully soon will be a residency once again. Please. The DJ Buster Baxter show is live every Friday on Mixcloud. And the Walrus the Human show is on the uh, B&E YouTube channel. So check that out. Is that funny guy yeah it's that simple yeah he keeps it short and sweet and uh, pretty comedic um again we've got tuvok the word waiting quite patiently for us to get uh, all of the dobus out of the way more information can be found at tuvok the word last week we our last interview was major g oh, next week right. we've got Callan rap sitting down in the studio in the hot seat where you are right now uh replays you can check out the archived videos at the uh, Sundogs. I feel like this is too loud. 
Did you stand that up? I did, yep. Yeah, I think it should be at like negative 18. Perfect. Nice. <laughs> Sorry, loud. Real loud. Uh, video archives, YouTube, Sundogs TC, and the audio archive at anchor.fm slash local vibes. It's that simple. And three ways to listen. Doesn't get more simple than that. Step one, way one, 94.1 FM if you live in the Frogtown community. Way two, wfnu.org slash live if you've got a computer or a smartphone. And then the third way, perhaps the best way, is to download the Live 365 app, search for WFNU or Frogtown Community Radio, and you can listen to Sundogs, present local vibes, and all your favorite 94.1 FM programming from anywhere in the world. I'm going to repeat that. Anywhere in the world. That's the Live 365 app. And you're going to want to listen Fridays at 6 p.m. That's when we're live. Mondays at 3 is the replay, but Fridays at 6 p.m. is when you want to call in. 651-313-5125. Again, that's 651-313-5125. And, uh... YouTube, you can watch. You can watch live. Oh, precisely. That's the fourth way. Excuse me. The newest. The, the and newest and. I'm pretty good. Pretty good. Hi, right. YouTube down people. Uh, call in now to ask Tuvok a question, and for your chance to win two tickets to both days of this weekend's Basilica Block Party, six five one three one three five one two five. Um. That's not the only thing Should we can tell do them to call in right now? Uh, sure. Call in right now for those ticks. First one to call in, um, we'll get them. Four tickets for both days. Parking tech. Parking oh, sorry. Passes. My script says this. two tickets, but, uh... Oh, my bad. Whichever one he decides when we answer the phone. <laughs> Depends on how many friends you get. Six, five, one, three, one, three... Five one two five. Call in now. I believe that's all the business. Nice. Oh, bring that down. Bring the lights down if you're just listening to the audio version. We brought the lights down, and now the spotlight is sit singularly on Tuvok the Word. So thank you again for sitting down with us. Thank you guys for having me. More information, again, can be found at Tuvok the Word, T-U-V-O-K-T-H-E-W-O-R-D. Sundogs TC is where you can find more info on your two favorite canines. That's us. Uh, we're going to get... Oh, excuse me. I don't think we're all done with uh, business. Oh, uh, crap. Bring the instrumental yeah, back. Yeah, precisely. <laughs> uh, there's a few um, spots here in the Twin Cities, including the Urban Lights Open Mic at Urban Lights in St. Paul, hosted by Vlad G and a.k.a. Kobe. Every first Thursday of the month from 5.30 to 8 o'clock p.m. Again, uh, Urban Lights is a record store. I'd call it a museum. Tim, the owner, is uh, the curator slash owner. Um, every first Thursday of the month, Urban Lights open mic. And they're throwing a show at... Haha, uh, sh- <laughs> not my mic. They're throwing a show at uh, <laughs> Part Wolf, I think, too. Uh... That's all I can remember, sorry. That's all we can reveal. <laughs> the Freight Room open mic at the Depot Coffee House in Hopkins, hosted by Good Boy. That's every Tuesday of every week from 6 o'clock to 10 o'clock p.m. And uh, the uh, DJ Cam Jones residency at the Red Sea. Uh, don't miss that. That's don't every Monday, that. 8 p.m. He's uh, doing a lot of stuff for a lot of artists. Um, if you're a new artist, uh, that would be a good place to go that's not an open mic. It might be your first first big break. DJ Cam Jones, he's going to hate that I told everybody to go do that. But <laughs> hit him up, DJ Cam Jones. Mike Check at Creative MPLS in Minneapolis, hosted by Sam Hyena, every Thursday from 9 p.m. to 12 a.m. And all these open mics, a little inside a tip. You're going to want to show up like an hour early. For the uh, one you were just talking about. Check, the uh, yep. online, I think. 
yeah, that's Mini Ox and Creative MPLS, and yeah, they they have their lineup uh, set up by email. So check that out. Just because there's so many people, it's you need the timestamp on there. Otherwise, people are gonna be beating each other up in line to sign up. It gets uh, filled up quick when they don't do it. Online. It's some awkward energy when you're trying to get on that sign-up sheet and the sheet's not out yet, and there's like 20 of you in there already. It's like, so where does the line start? Like, who was in here first? Nobody was keeping track. It's a, uh, yeah, one way to do it. And speaking of one way to do it, we're gonna follow the kind of linear timeline of your artistic journey. Yeah. Starting with, as far back as you can remember, music influencing you. If you're just yeah. joining us, we're sitting down with Tuvok the Word. Hello, hello. And we're starting from the beginning. The beginning of time. Uh, <clears throat> well, so for me, um, I, I grew up in the church, and so that's kind of where music first was relevant mm -hmm. in my life. Um, my parents were involved in the church, and so I would pay close attention to the choir and the band and just listen and watch all of the instrumentation, just the singing, the hymns, everything was just like, just beautiful. And like, um, and so I just, from that age on, I've just always been really interested in music. And, um, you know, it's kind of a, say, say what you will about, um, whatever personal stuff that Michael Jackson had going on. Like I grew up watching Michael Jackson music videos and just learning those, trying to learn all the dance moves and trying to just mimic a lot of what I saw um, in regards to how, cause you can't take away how great of an entertainer he was like re regardless of the other stuff, like still one of the best entertainers that humanity has ever seen, mm -hmm. like hands down. That's true. Um, so uh, you know, I just kind of grew up just watching uh, a lot of musicians, and um, I yeah, I just kind of dabbled in in drums a little bit here and there growing up. Uh, did not at church. In at church oh. specifically. Oh, um, oh, nice. And then I uh, did band uh, in elementary school and uh, middle school as well. Percussion. Yep. Yeah. yeah percussion. Um, Rimba action. Yeah. Xylophone. Maybe a timpani or two. Yep. The cool yep. Ki cool kids in the back. Yeah, the band class, exactly. As I recall them. Yeah, no, all the uh, all the rock stars wanted to be from percussion in my elementary school. Um, and the furthest uh, you can get without knowing how to read music. Yep. You know. Yeah. Is in percussion. You can just kind of memorize <laughs> yeah. the song on the marimba. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And um, did that further, uh, you know, quench your musical thirst or fuel the musical flame? If yeah. You know? Yeah. For sure. Um, music has just always been a part of just what I've done and how I've processed my thoughts and emotions. And um, I mean, I have, I've written songs and and in rap and since I was I don't know like seven or eight years old like I've just have always just kind of used writing lyrics as a part of uh, how I just process the world that's huge um, sorry I got excited yeah. because what was the first uh, rapper name you gave oh yourself? my god oh yeah <laughs> I'd like to go through uh, what, what the old ones were oh man there were so many I could go through all of you want to go through all the if monikers you, if you know them yeah, yeah. let's see if I remember chronologically them all. If you uh, so I think the first one I was probably six or seven years old um it was because my, my initials are TJ, and so I think it was TJ, but like T-J-A-A-Y, just to style it for some reason. Yeah. Um, and then I was just, I mean, yeah, that was pretty much it for a while. And then I went to, and then I got to middle school, and I kind of linked up with some uh, friends that rapped as well, and we kind of formed this, like, crew uh, called the uh, Midwest Mob. Uh, yeah. Shout out to any Blackhawk Middle School alumni who remember Midwest Mob or Midwest Mafia, as we also uh, called ourselves. You know, the mob, the mafia. <laughs> the people and, uh, from Black. My, 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 oh, my God. 12-year-old Tim. Uh, my moniker for that was uh, Professor Payday. 
mm. uh, because um, you know I had my doctorate in getting money. You oh, know, yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just like, and we just wrote like gangster rap. Like yeah. we were in Egan. Like we <laughs> saw no nothing of the sort. Like, but we just wrote what we listened to. You yeah. know, and it was so. And also being to to be real, like on a psychological level, like just being young men, like the way that uh, one of the few ways it's okay for us to process emotion is through violence and anger, and so just that being something that all young men are socially taught, that's just kind of what came on in our lyrics because that was okay for us to to speak that way. Yeah. Um, and. Uh, then um, I eventually dropped the professor bit and just went with Payday for like Ooh. seventh grade. Which Payday, I was like, okay, no, this is dope. Like Payday's a dope stick. name. Like yeah. if, you know, circa two thousand. What was it like four, two thousand five, or whatever? You We're going know? from sixth grade to seventh grade. We got to rebrand. Yes. Yeah, rebrand. That was a that was a good that was a good name. Uh, um, and then my cousin, uh, my cousin who was living with us for a little bit. Um, she kind of gave me a new moniker, uh, Ver- Verdad, um, which is Spanish for, I mean, I'm, I do not speak Spanish, but she does. But uh, it's like truth or um, like honesty is kind of like just the, the thought of um, just kind of speaking the truth is kind of how what she came, how she came about that name. Nice. Um, and so I, um, I used Verdad for like uh, a long time uh, for from like eighth grade through uh i've actually through even post college like um yeah there was just yeah so i i I did that for a while and then a lot of that was just writing music and recording stuff um when did you first start recording on garage band nice nice we had a class in eighth I think it was seventh or eighth grade in my middle school where it was like a class on how to use GarageBand, um, which I was just very blessed to have that type of class. It was yeah. just an elective. Who was yeah. the teacher? Shout out. I don't remember. Oh, I, no. I feel bad. I honestly don't remember. Um, but shout out Blackhawk Middle School for <laughs> just having that uh, just having that class and having that time for kids to learn how to just make music or um. Yeah, if you're an alumni, give us a call, 651-313-5125. We're going to take a quick break. We're sitting down with Tuvok The Word here on Sundogs Present Local Vibes. We're giving away Basilica Black Party tickets. Give us a call. We'll be right back.
Welcome back to Sundogs Present Local Vibes. We are sitting down with Tuvok the Word here on this lovely evening, kicking off your weekend. More information can be found at Tuvok the Word, T U V O K T H E W O R D. Um, and more information as, uh, about the show, excuse me, more information about Tuvok the Word can be found at Tuvok the Word. More information about Sundogs and Sundogs Present Local Vibes can be found at Sundogs TC on Instagram, YouTube, you name it. Um, let's, get right, let's get right back into it. Oh, well, can I, Also, more information can be found at uh, fairplayentertainment.org. Let me write that one down. Uh, or everything social media at fair play emn so that's the uh, music collective that i'm a part of and when well. did that come about you said was that still as you were uh so pay- payday no no or no 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 uh verte, verte. Uh, no fair play is brand new uh just this year um it's something that was founded by uh nerdy and dj hayes um, it's a music collective that I'm a part of. Uh, I, I can get into that, I guess. I'm just, like jumping around, but I mean. uh, yeah, it's a music collective I'm a part of with um, Lieutenant Sonny, mm-hmm. Minneapolis Drew, Brandon Polfus, Mickey Breeze, um, and myself are all, all on the roster with uh, DJ Hayes and, and Nerd D sort of spearheading and, you know, kind of co presidents of uh, Fair Play. So that's dope. That's huge. Yeah. Um. And, uh, you know, when you say entertainment collective, I assume not just limiting yourself to audio and visual art. Um, well, like, vi- you know, not just uh, audio and video is what I should say. Yeah, yeah. What, uh, what's on the horizon and what do you think the most unique project that you guys have in development right now you can talk about is? Um, so we, everyone's kind of, uh, you know, sort of setting their own game plans for this year. Um, we just did a showcase at the poor house, um, last month, uh, in August, uh, towards the end of August. That went well. Um, nice. yeah, yeah, that, that was, it was good. Um, no and, one, no one said you'll never work in this town again. Yeah, no, actually because of how well we did at the poor house, um, with the, since the poorhouse had this Jay Holiday show coming up, mm-hmm. they reached out to Fair Play asking if they could get a couple artists on the roster. Um, and so myself and Brandon Polfus will be opening up for Jay Holiday um, on uh, at the end of September. Um, and so, uh, yeah, the, as a result of how well the show did with uh, the co- full collective, so. Uh, we like to think our show is kind of <laughs> geared toward up and coming artists or artists who haven't crossed the threshold into like professionally recording a song yet. So, did you just hear that? You do well, and you know, more opportunities are given to you. Yeah. Try hard. Precisely. Try hard. Do really good at your shows. Try Anything really hard. That you and be kind. Precisely. Because you need to. One thing that, um, that Nerdy always says uh, when he talks about fair play, and I would be remiss if I didn't mention it as well, is that we're really trying to not just be a collective for the sake of being another hip-hop collective in the Twin Cities. We are really trying to change the music industry here um, that has historically been very toxic and very unsafe for, for a lot of people. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, particularly with uh, like male-identifying artists making are the culture unsafe for people? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, we're really trying to change the rhetoric of how uh, musicians in Minnesota, how h- artists in Minnesota are like come out and, and, and do their business and interact with people. And we are just trying to, to be different and set a new standard for how to be a professional musician in the industry. Mm-hmm. Saving the industry, basically. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, you're going to... Like, yeah, that style and all of that, like, that's really having less and less of a place in our culture, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, you can't just be, you know, you can't have that be the connotation anymore. That it's like, ooh, this is going to be a rough show because it's got rap at it, so it's like... Well, it's like, you can be as thugged out as you want to be, but toxic ma- toxic masculinity has no place in hip-hop. Precisely. You know what I'm saying? And, and I it's think... It's crazy to say when mm-hmm. it's such, like, 
You mean it is hip hop? No, I'm just kidding. But like the uh, years and years and years of like that being the only style. And, yeah. Uh, you know, some people squeaking by with uh, like uh, female rappers rapping toxic masculinity. Technically, was like a step forward in like right. them being able to identify how they want to identify. But yeah, uh, and, I and, s- yeah. And, and sorry, I don't, and I don't mean necessarily you know uh, like the content of people's music because people right, just, you know, are no, no, whatever, that's yeah, yeah, exactly. But more so, just like what do you do when you are when you step off of the stage? Exactly. Like if what do you do if you're smacking people yeah. not in lyrics? That's not okay. Yeah, yeah. Like, how how are you interacting in the green room? How are you interacting with venue staff? Like, mm-hmm. how are you interacting with the uh, hosts of the shows that you're on? Like, how are you interacting at these open mics? Are you ho- going over your time? Are you being just ha- rude and, mm-hmm. like, mm-hmm. just hogging the mic? Or are you being courteous? And so I it's like just... And inclusive. Yeah, exactly. and inclusive. Like, you, Keeping you it classy. Yeah, you, you know, people think that... The, you can't be successful without being professional. That's just reality at anything, at anything that you do. You mm-hmm. can be a graffiti artist. It doesn't matter what you do. Yeah. But you cannot be successful without being professional. And uh, mm-hmm. people try to, you know, they try to take the professionalism out of it. But it's like, if you have to have professionalism working at, like, McDonald's, you're going to have to have professionalism working as a musician. Like, mm-hmm. it, it's uh, if you want to elevate your brand, like, you got to be... A professional person and yeah. a part of that is just not being rude <laughs> it's like just the, the basic don't disrespect people yeah radio friendly want. version i can <laughs> like, don't be rude don't be rude <laughs> it's it's very simple oh man yeah that uh that's a very helpful piece of information for anybody listening anybody who is trying to take their brand or whatever to the next level is just um if you're not doing it Try doing it. Take a page out of Fair Play's book and uh, just keep it super classy at, 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 at every aspect, it sounds like, is what you guys are trying to do. Yeah, be nice, I think, is be what you nice. kicked it off with. Yeah. That's perfect. And I think to have that type of motivation, to have that type of mission statement during uh, the renaissance of the Twin Cities artistic scene across the board, mm. not just the music scene, it's a huge undertaking that I'm really glad you guys are stepping up and doing that. Yeah, yeah. Fairplayentertainment.org. You better right. keep it classy yep. if you're around them. Yep. That's, yeah. uh, or else you'll never work in this town again. <laughs> never work in this town. <laughs> yeah, no, but a cigar in the suspenders. It would be a nicer, yeah, exactly. it'd be a nicer place for everybody if everybody That's was, it. you know, being, you know, keeping it classy at keep the shows. Classy, Just maybe. keep it classy. Yeah. It's in the name. Fair play. Fair play. Fair keep play. things fair. Keep things inclusive. Yeah, very That's cool. Huge. And that, Sorry. I think, is going to be huge for, you know, songwriter empowerment. Yeah. Not to have this toxic industry and toxic culture connotated with hip-hop. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? It's going to make mm-hmm. people feel, you know, excited to do that. Right, mm-hmm. right. And it's, I think it's going to motivate a whole, a whole new generation of artists. Yeah, don't have to have your guard up all the time if everybody's going to be right. respectful. Well, art is about letting your guard down. And yeah. any, any hip-hop artist that says that they're, they don't, uh, they're not vulnerable is, is lying. <laughs> and even if you, like, if you really listen to music, you know, that's why, like, I don't, I, I can't stand people that say they don't like hip-hop because when they say that, that means they don't listen to hip-hop. Yeah. Uh, because if you, like, you can listen to anybody and you hear, like, like listen like walk a flock of flame you listen to the, you hear the vulnerability sometimes that's talked mm-hmm. about you hear the insecurities sometimes that they talk about you mm-hmm. you hear just like the the bravado that's presented but as a shield to protect oneself yes and how historically particularly black men have needed to do that and so it's just have understanding where w- just where the music is coming from and and what uh, and the emotions that are behind everything. Like, if you don't understand that, you're not going to understand any of the music. That's right. No, right on. You're not going to understand any genre of music, but every, yeah. in this case, yeah. hip-hop mm-hmm. in particular. Yeah, because really, art doesn't just, like, here you go, and this, like, this is face value. Take this at face value. Face yeah. value, easily like, digestible. <laughs> yeah, easily. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, not, that's not a lot of art, really. But, but uh... Tuvok the word on all social media, fairplayentertainment.org, and fairplayentertainment on all social media as well. They're changing the game. 
Exactly. Uh, you were saying that Nerdy, it was Nerdy, Nerdy's idea to put it all together? Yeah, Hitman DJ Hayes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, very they, cool. uh, they were, um, and they were, t- damn, yeah, Ryan, uh, or DJ Hayes, was talking to me about it, like, a few years ago. He was like, yeah, me and Matt kind of want to, like, get some sort of, I don't know, collective or something, like, going, and then Matt was talking to me about it as well, and I was like, okay, like, just let me know. So, yeah, let, let me know yeah, when. Yeah, I'll yeah, be let me know if I can help at all, yeah. or, like, what the vision is. Um, and then they just kind of reached out to myself and a few other, ar- other artists who were like, hey, we're starting this thing, and we want you all to be a part of it, uh, so buckle up, because, cool. like, we're, we're this, this is just, we're all going up from here, and, and yeah. Fair Play is really just about, because, uh, you know, a lot of, like, Minnesota artists are so concerned with, like, their shine, mm-hmm. you know, that we, like, drag each other down mm-hmm. to get our, our, our shine um, and we're really trying to undo that mentality and really trying to understand that, like, when when we go up, we all go up. Like, yeah, it's not we, a zero-sum game. Yeah, right when now, we elevate, yeah, if I elevate, I'm not elevating by myself, I'm bringing people with me, um, and sort of like, uh, y- you know, um, it's, it's kind of like when you fill a tank of water, like everything floats, you know? And so we're just trying to, I guess, just, just bring that water, you know? And, and just and just like float everyone up and just elevate as many people as we can. Um, and kind of just starting out with, with a small crew for now, but really the vision is to just elevate artists and, uh, you know, particularly black artists as well within, within the uh, Twin Cities, so, yeah. That's very cool. And that do you, do you do you say when that started? Was that just this year? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. I th- yeah. Uh, everything launched. Um, yeah, earlier this year. Um, yeah, yeah. All and, those uh, sharp pictures. Everybody got together for the photo yes. shoot. That's yeah. so classy. Uh, pictures yeah. are looking Local nice. Local photographer, I would assume. Yes. Um, you know what? I'm gonna. I, I need to because it's my friend Mari. Like I know I her say, as a we're, person. We're gonna be taking a break here in about uh, four minutes. Okay. Uh, yeah, so but you got time. Exactly. Oh, cool. But yeah, I'm gonna. Time. I'm gonna make sure I get. Make sure I get her handle right because uh, she does all of my all of like Tubac the words photos. Ooh. Um, she has done a lot of um nerdy photos as well. Um, Mar Essence Photography. Um, you can on Insta? Mar Essence Photography on Instagram. You heard him. Yeah, everywhere. So uh, just a very, very talented uh, photographer, woman of color, um, you know, uh, so b- supporting a black-owned business. So, yeah. It's got it. About. And it's got the eye. Knows how to have, yeah. it's have it in focus. Yep. The, I mean, if you haven't seen any of those artists' uh, visual The Fair Play Rollout. Go to oh the, my uh, For more information on those pictures, go to the Fair Play Instagram. Yeah. Because uh, they're sharp. They're looking sharp. And that's, uh, one more time, what was the... Uh, Photographer? The handle, yes. yep. Mar Essence Photography. Boom, on yeah. Instagram. Definitely check those out. And her, she's tagged under all the pictures. Yeah, tags sure. and everything, credited and everything. Yeah, Classy. local. Local photographer. Keeping it classy. Yeah. We, we're going to take a break in about three minutes, but before that, there's a few shows coming up that you know all the details for, correct? Yes. Yeah. Um, let's talk about those and that those how those opportunities arose. I think we touched on it a little bit earlier. Yeah, so um, one, so really uh, one show, because um, I always like to plug... Um, it's interesting. I, I don't necessarily post a lot about me drumming with the Friendly Neighborhood Spider Band. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, that, that we are the band that backs Nerdy. Um, but because I, I always try to like have people sort of make the link on their own. Like, oh snap, Tuvok the Word, who drums, is the same Tuvok the Word, a part of Fair Play. I just always find that fascinating. Yeah. But uh, surprise, everybody, I'm the same person. <laughs> Uh, doing both oh, things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so I drum in the Friendly Neighborhood Spider Band, which uh, backs the artist Nerdy. Uh, and yeah, we are performing at uh, Day, oh, Day Block, excuse me, oh, Dual Citizen Brewing uh, for the uh, Blocktoberfest. Uh, that's happening tomorrow. Nice. It's a free event, and uh, there's a lot of uh, great artists that are going to be there. Mae Simpson, uh, Bruce Violet are also on the bill. Uh, incredible artists that. Uh, we're also a part of the um, best new bands of 2019, the the show we did uh, at First Ave Ooh. Um, in January of 2020, if you could believe it. Right, pre-COVID. Uh, Pre-COVID, 
um, on the cusp. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, so that'll be dope. And, um, yeah, and then, uh, yeah, got a couple, uh, like I mentioned before, the Jay Holiday show, the Poor House coming up as well yes. in September. So, so oh, there's, yeah. And there's rumors about a Fair Play show on the 26th. There are rumors. Rumors. On the on the 29th. Oh, 29th. The that's 29th. Right. There are rumors. Uh, don't know if it's officially been announced yet, but. Can't wait. Can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> if you're just joining us, we're sitting down with Tuvok, the word, one of the uh, pillars of Fair Play Entertainment, yes. and he's not only giving us the kind of chronological story, but uh, dropping knowledge bombs and letting us know some opportunities when you can see them, not only Tuvok, but um, right. some of the rest of Fair Play. Yeah, that's cool. So, sorry, we've barely got any time before the break, because um, I think we take it at 38. Oh, cool! Not thirty-six. No. But so, then we got plenty of time. So we could, because uh, I, we kind of got sidetracked. Yeah, <laughs> finish right. the yeah, finish names. the, the name, uh, yes. ge- genealogy, or uh, whatever the uh, the uh, sec- uh, scientific yeah. term is uh, for how names are formed. So I was Verdad for a minute, a, a while, for years, and just kind of making music, recording my own stuff here and there. I never released any of that music. Um, but uh, I think a lot of it was just more kind of, um, it was like therapeutic, really, yeah. and then also just kind of developing my my skills a little bit more as well. Um, I there was a small stint of time you could find. Yes, I think you can still find these videos on YouTube Ooh. where uh, Nerdy, aka Matt Allen, and myself we did this thing called Voice Box in Verdad. And he did like this auto tune, like harmonies, like very like T Pain esque style. And then like I was just freestyling, and we just did like remixes of like Airplanes by B.O.B. Crazy. Uh, and a couple other songs that were hot circa 2008 to 2010. Voice, so. Voice Box and Verdad on YouTube. I bet you can find it. Please, Please look it up. Is that college era still? That was when we were still in high school. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Little, yeah, still okay. in high school towards a little bit after high school as well. Um, but, uh, and then it was, yeah, Verdad for a while. And then actually Nerdy gave me the name Tuvok. Um, he uh, was like, yeah, Tuvok the word is, is, is what I'm feeling for you. And just kind nice. of. Nice. Uh, yeah, we, and if, you know, if we have time later we can kind of get into that a little bit more but uh yeah we're gonna take a quick yeah. break here in about 30 seconds check out tuvok the word on instagram for all his information t-u-v-o-k the word and tuvok the first tuvok the second streaming everywhere yes sundogs, sundogs tc sundogs present <laughs> local vibes we're gonna be right back give us a call 651-313-5125 giving away tickets to this weekend's basilica block oh party. yeah call in 651-313-5125 sundogs present local vibes
Welcome back. For those listening live, wasn't that the shortest break ever? For those listening in the future, don't add stink. Yeah. If you're just joining us, we are Sun Dogs. We are sitting down with Tuvok the Word. And he just revealed that. Uh, There's Nerdy. juicy videos on YouTube of Nerd, yeah, Nerdy and him, Tuvok the Word. Gave him the Tuvok. <laughs> oh, moniker. that's right. That's right. Yeah, was it yeah. just Tuvok and you added the word later, or was it. It was Tuvok the word. I imagine okay. it like an uh, epic, like handing someone a sword. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> knighting you or something. I think now vis- rise. giving you the jacket. I think visually for Nerd D, I think that's what it was. Um, but it was it was via text. He was just <laughs> like. But I think uh, if if we could do it in a movie, that's how it would yes. kind of uh, in his mind sort of be. Um, yeah, and and and, and it kind of comes from it, it comes from for all my fellow Trekkies out there, the character Tuvok from Star Trek Voyager, uh-huh. um, and I've always connected with Vulcans. Uh, my uh, like, so my I have like kind of deformed ears a little bit. People can barely notice, but I was made fun of as a kid growing up. Um, for, for having elf ears, as you know, kids are mean. Uh, so uh, kids are, kids so are being I mean. always connected with Vulcans because I saw these people on TV that had ears that were similar to mine. Mm-hmm. And so I've always just really gravitated to uh, just the sort of Vulcan values with logic yeah. and meditation and um, like really centering oneself in order to make decisions and things like that. Mm-hmm. Um, and so... The, the name Tuvok uh, kind of really fit just who I am. And then um, the reason why it's Tuvok the word is because there is no definition of Tuvok the word. Mm. And so it's kind of reflective of how my music is a journey of looking to find meaning. Mm. And uh, that's kind of my pursuit of, of meaning, my pursuit of definition. And so that's really what, what Tuvok the word is about. And Man, that, that's and, a good name. And that came that's about four or five years ago? Uh, uh, actually, just... Seven years? I mean, I guess 2018. My, oh, yeah, okay, yeah, so... so 2017, ago, 2017, yeah, four yeah, about ago. four, yeah. I guess maybe that is four or five right. years ago right. at this he's point. Had, oh he's, had it, he's had it legally yeah. changed. His birth certificate <laughs> says the word comma tuva. Yep. Um, that's I dope. Hope, yeah. it's, a, it's a fitting name, I yeah. think, for sure. And yeah. Unlike any other. Yeah, I am the only Tuvok the word that pops up. So that's, that's huge. That's, <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's a tip for so you can get them on all platforms. Yeah, you know, exactly. Is, so yeah, you don't Same need name. to vie for any other confusion. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's cold blooded. That's a good name, and uh, yeah, so interesting. Some people are just like, I did, uh, you know, Chance the Rapper name generator, right. Wu Tang well, name generator, you know, Nerdy Childish name Gambino. generator. You know, that's what yes. that's what his name was, Wu Tang name generator, oh, and so it worked out. So. But it, I've always been very fascinated with the history of how people get their rap monikers because sometimes it's like a nickname, sometimes yeah. it's, uh, you know, something that they just came up with, you know what I mean? Sometimes so, it's like they'll have, like, they're like, oh, I, I came up with a new body of work and I wanted it to, like, stand alone under a new uh, new name. Yeah. And so, yeah, very interesting. It's one of my favorite questions that we get to ask <laughs> artists is bring us through all of them, you know, yeah. get the embarrassing ones. And yeah. Then get up to the real juicy juice. Um, check out all our episodes. Sorry to plug our own show at uh, anchor.fm slash local vibes. We've got a ton of cool stories just like that. Um, and Sundogs TC on YouTube. Uh, those are, I think, just the last 20 or 30 videos. But they're video. You can video look at archive. Us. You can look at that. Uh, anchor.fm slash local vibes again. It's the audio <laughs> archive. Um, so I'm going to get into these two tracks. Yeah. Let's discuss yes. each one as much as we can. Yeah. Um, we've only got about six more minutes. Yeah, not very much time. But um, uh, So your representative sent over two tracks, one from Tuvok the first, mm-hmm. one from Tuvok the second. Yep. Both released 2021. Yep. Um, With uh, Tuvok the third coming out real, real soon. Ooh, real, real soon. Did you hear Final that? Final installment. The final installment. That's cool that you can reveal that slash have a vision of the horizon yeah. mm. of your musical horizon pretty clear. What was the genesis of doing a trilogy or doing a... To be honest, it was just the fact that I wrote so many songs last year. Like, I was at home, um, my kids were born last year, and wow. so I was just 
at home and I got laid off early um, in the pandemic. And so I just had time to be a dad and to just write down everything I was feeling and experiencing. And so um, all of these songs are really just pretty much everything that I just thought to write last year and um, is what I've kind of felt and experienced kind of also just through my life, but just being able to just have that time to really put pen to paper mm-hmm. and uh, yeah, make it happen. I know it's kind of taboo to like give an intro to a song, but is there anything you would want people to be like thinking about before the song or any lines you want them to catch and uh, engage? Um, so, you know, I've performed this song of, uh, live a couple times, and I, it, I guess I dedicate it to all my fellow trackies out there. Okay. Um, because, uh, yeah, I just, I heard this beat, and I just uh, really wanted to, I, just, I don't know, the, the words I, I was writing just kind of geared me towards uh, Star Trek. And so, for all my next-gen fans, uh, nice. this is for you. And then how about uh, You're Not For Me? Yeah, I actually wrote that about an ex. <laughs> um, it and, uh, you know, you go through relationships and you learn about uh, yourself. You learn about your partner. And um, it's just about the, the concept of getting to a point in your relationship where you realize, you know what, I, I do love you. I, I, I do still have feelings for you, care about you, am attracted to you, whatever the case may be. But... I'm realizing that you aren't the right person for me. Mm. And in order for me to, I have to make this uh, mature decision to kind of move on and for us to go our separate ways, as as difficult as that might be, because I know that um, I'm not necessarily giving you what you need, you're not giving me what I need, and uh, the healthiest thing would be for us to just to move on from this relationship, which isn't easy, but that's what that song's about. Yeah, I mean, the motifs you cover in both Tuvok the First and Tuvok the Second are, it's, I mean, it's varied, yep. but very heavy. Are those yeah. themes going to continue in the third, or is the third going to be a jazz album? <laughs> nah, You're going to be yeah. crooning more. You know, I am uh, I'm a very uh, e- emotional person, and yeah. so I think my, my music is just emotional. And, and I try to write fun songs i try to uh, have a wide variety of emotion but um i I just write what i experience and and i hope that you know people can connect with it do you find uh listening to your music when it may come on your playlist it very (laughs) reflective hey two years ago i do remember feeling that or uh, songs that are perhaps written about the feelings when your children were born right reflecting on that whatever positive or negative emotion do you find that therapeutic or do you kind of stay away from do you want to capture it and move on that's a really great question um i don't i don't really listen to my music and i guess there's no really particular reason why um i guess i just like to be i like to listen to other music that, that i'm inspired by yeah um and maybe something to potentially give me new ideas which mm-hmm. maybe could happen by someone listening to their own music but um, unless I'm just like, man, this song is a jam, <laughs> and like this is one of my favorite songs, uh, which there are a couple, especially with some of the newer stuff. But uh, yeah, I, I don't usually listen to my music a lot, to be honest. No, it's no big. Too busy making new music. Yeah, uh, precisely. One last question, probably. Uh, so how? So that uh, these songs came out before Fair Play was a fish, right? Yeah, some of them were written. Um, kind of while or, or during and uh you know shout out to dj hayes for really helping me just put all of these songs together um man I, I don't know if he has the time to record with every artist in minnesota but he's i don't want to work with anybody else i don't nice. want to work with any other producer besides him uh because just the notes the feedback that he provides me with and uh just the suggestions and he pushes me to even farther than what I think I can go, and it always sounds great. So, yeah. Did you say uh, shout out. Days. Fair play. Uh, look them up. Yeah, that was going to be my question, is that what's changed now that fair play is a thing on how you go about recording or writing or anything like that? Is it yeah. more like you go out of your way to collaborate with everybody else, or is it just a group of people so far that you think can, like, perpetuate the brand? got about a minute and 30 seconds yeah i think it's i think it's just about elevating each other whenever we can and um 
you know, when, when it comes to features for, my, for myself, I just think about, uh, you know, who do I hear on this song? Mm-hmm. And I don't necessarily write for features. I'm just, but sometimes there's just a space where I don't feel like there's, it's for me to speak, it's for someone else. Mm-hmm. And so it's more of a natural, uh, this kind of who, whose presence do I feel? And then I kind of help ask to uh, invite them in on, on the song that I'm working on. But, Ooh. you know, but Fair Play is really about elevating each other as much as we can, even if it's just like sharing a post on social media that we did or whatever, retweeting each other and, and uh, just be in there in whatever ways. Nice. That's huge. Thank you so much for sitting down with us again. You can see Tuvok the Word tomorrow. I already forgot the brewery. Dual Citizen. Dual Citizen yeah. Brewing. At Northeast, right? In St. Paul. St. Paul. Yeah. Oh, yeah. My That's all good. I'll be drumming. Uh, I don't believe I'll be doing any rapping, but uh, I am the most entertainer drummer, entertaining drummer in the state of Minnesota. There you go. There you got to go find out. Yeah, and if you assessment. want to refute that, come to the show <laughs> to the with show. your sticks. Probably your kit, Prove too. Prove me wrong. <laughs> Prove them wrong. Uh, Sundogs present Local Vibes airs every Friday, kicking your weekend off at 6 p.m. You can find more information at Sundogs TC. And you can find more information about Tuvok the Word at Tuvok the Word. That's T-U-V-O-K, the word, as well as fairplayentertainment.org. Yeah, that threw me off. I kept spl- spelling fair play with an E. Uh, cause I thought it was just like a style at like cafe, but oh, it's yeah. the E is for entertainment. Inter- yeah. yeah. Don't be confused. Uh, thanks everybody for tuning in. Check you guys next Friday. We'll have to have you back on the show. Definitely. Yeah. Only you got the tip Bye, of the everybody. iceberg. Yeah. Thank you so much for having me. Tuvok the word here on Sundogs present local vibes. Local vibes. Bye everybody. Tuvok. Engage. Huh. I feel like God is telling me something. Don't rely on business, bruh. Watch out for Ferengi to be snaking every sentence, cuz you can call me captain. My reaction never slipping up. My enterprise be in the sky, so my haters be looking up. Y'all rappers just run amok. I'm just calculating when I double up. Y'all be integrating with the funny stuff. I regulate then penetrate. This interface disintegrates. You finna waste what's on your dinner plate, but get your business straight. I remain and stay unique while all your boards assimilate. If your cues come stepping, trying to test. You bet I will engage Two screw has just been amazed All these mics have been ablaze All these eyes have seen the glory I bring to the center stage I don't own a gun But I will stun you Please don't get a phase Next time I might set this mic to kill So please don't get a raise If I have a problem and can't solve it Then I meditate I use logic when I contemplate To set the record straight Next generation to have patience when you're stepping towards your greatness. But stay busy while you're waiting. See everyone commands their own ship out in space. And I just want to be an admiral of entertainment. So I set a course for my goals I'm attaining. Jump to warp nine and I am pushing past the pavement. Making more than music when I speak, I'm making statements. And I respect my sisters while y'all jokers stay degraded. Calling women bitches, boy, that term is antiquated. I will be respectful. Guess the future's where I'm staying. When I'm on the hollow decks, the only time I'm playing. I am hailing frequencies to speak the truth I'm saying. I use music frequently for thoughts I am conveying. If you wanna speak to me, you gotta make arrangements. I got twin daughters, I don't have the time for wasting. Okay, I got 20 seconds. State your case then. Okay, man. Things start.
started off so sweet I loved how you hold me You got me believing that you know me I was like your boomerang No matter where you throw me I was coming back cause I let your body Control me, I tried to say No many times but you ignored me Never respected my boundaries You thought you could mold me You thought you could really change my heart But you knew all my inner thoughts I thought if I exposed myself then you wouldn't Tear me apart but I was wrong If I wasn't I wouldn't be writing this song wish i had known what i know all along i thought we would be forever involved but i need to move on cause you got what i want and i got just what you need but you're not for me you got what i want and i got just what you need but you're not for me you got what i want and i got just what you need but you're not for me and you know i know you know i know you know cause i know that you can put your hand inside a hat and pick a topic does it matter what you draw you know we probably argue about it it's like we were stuck on playing games and losing ain't an option i'd resent the way you say my name unless i was inside you we were supposed to be repping the same gang now we're rivals we were supposed to be forever unchanged by surroundings but we switched up didn't think love would be this tough we thought god had brought us together but i guess we slipped up i know that this is hard to hear but let me paint the picture clear it's like we weren't meant to be because we were made in different years we can't undo the damages but maybe we can manage it we can go our separate ways and pray for each other's family but if you try to call me for some comfort i ain't having it we can't live together less we're living in embattlement and we rarely live in peace time so i'll watch you walk away and throw the peace sign each time i won't rewind cause you got what i want and i got just what you need but you're not for me you got what i want and i got just what you need but you're not for me you got what i want and i got just what you need but you're not for me and you know i know you know i know you know cause i know that you know you got what i want and i got just what you need but you're not for me you got what i want and i got just what you need but you're not for me you got what i want and i got just what you need but you're not for me and you know i know you know i know you know cause i know that you know